Welcome to this e-lecture, which I have called Research Design and Essential Concepts in Quantitative Methods. And uh, when I start out by talking about research design and quantitative methods, I always ask uh, students to think about a social phenomenon which, I, which they find interesting. And I find trust among individuals interesting. Uh, and I, I, I uh, ask, is trust important in a society? And can a society function without trust among people? And the answer to this is, of course, uh, yes, trust is important. And no, a society cannot function without trust among people. Uh, on all arenas where people meet, trust is important um, among people. So and we, 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 we end up by discussing why trust is important and, and, and really establish the fact that trust is important. My point with this being is that uh, so establishing that trust is an important social phenomenon to understand and explore. That's the whole point with the research methods. We want to explore and understand social phenomenon. Uh, and that's uh, what research methods are all about. And, uh, and it's about to get these tools to do to do this. Uh, and to cite uh, Graham Greene, it's impossible to go through life without trust. That is to be imprisoned in the worst cell of all oneself. So, what is social research methods or research methods? Well, it's, it's, uh, you have this research question. And that can be what explains variation in trust. And you want to go from that research question, what explains variation in trust, to new knowledge. Our research shows that variation in trust is explained by these and these factors. Uh, but to go from that research question and gain new knowledge, we have to collect, analyze and interpret information, and we'll call that information for the data, about the social reality in order to gain the knowledge of the social phenomenon, in our, our uh, case, trust, that we are interested in. Uh, and I want to uh, to to uh, to uh, bring up this article, which I find really interesting. It's called "The Slave Trade and the Origins of Mistrust in Africa." And the authors they they wrote a previous article where they found that uh, areas in Africa that had been uh, that ha that has had been uh, heavily raided by uh, during the slave trade uh, period hundreds many hundred years ago. Um, they were uh, the, eco the economic. They, they were de developing uh, economically uh, at slower pace than other uh, other areas in Africa, and they ask why why is why, why is uh, these areas uh, less economic uh, developed than those areas that haven't been uh, that didn't that wasn't raided during the slave trade period. What 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 explains uh, uh, what is the explanation? Uh, so they have established the fact that there were there, there were there were difference in economic development, but they couldn't explain why it was this uh, difference. And so they uh, found that uh, well, it's trust. Even many many hundred years after uh, the slave trade, uh, after slave trade, uh, after slave trade, uh, th the trust level among people living in these areas that have been heavily raided during the slave, period, slave trade period were still less uh, trusting to to one another, uh, to one another than those uh, who living in areas that wasn't uh, uh, um, heavily ra uh, or raided during the slave period, trade period. And uh, a well-known fact is that trust is so important for uh, yeah, for um, economic development or for for trade uh, as such. You you ha you have to trust one another if you're going to trade. So, what is uh, social science research methods? Well, there are several who have given a definition of that, and uh, Obad in Helvik has said that research methods is a procedure, a means of solving problems and gain new knowledge. Any means that serves this purpose belongs to the arsenal of methods. And Halvorsen has said that method is uh, the attrition side of scientific, scientific activity, or more precisely, the lessons learned about uh, the tools that can be used to gather information. And uh, furthermore, Halvorsen has said that in broader sense, methods is somewhat more than research techniques. It's the teaching of uh, 
uh, of that collect uh, of collecting, organizing, uh, and the process, analyze and interpret social facts systematically, so that others can take a look uh, at our cards, meaning uh, the principle of uh, verif uh, verifiability. Uh, essential to the scientific tradition that dominates today's social research. And Helvika said, social science research methods provides advice on how the researchers uh, can collect, process and analyze data. So if we're going to look at the research process, how does it, uh, how, 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 uh, how does it look? And, and this is a kind of a stylish way of putting it. It's, uh, it's uh, it's not always the way it, it works out, but let's let's you, you you start out by having an idea, and that can be the, the your interest as a researcher, or it can be customers or users if it's commissioned research, or it can be based on prior research and theory. You you read prior research or theory and you get this idea. You formulate a research question: Why do what explains and so forth. That can also be based on previous research and theory. You then choose a strategy and design your study. Uh, you can also get inspired by previous research and theory for that, uh, as well as when you do your data collection, uh, then you do your data analysis and you report your results. And of course, uh, data collection and reporting your results, there are ethical considerations to be made when you do that. Well. That was a short introduction to research methods and quantitative methods. Thank you.